In this video we are going to explore the top 5 expectorant herbs to treat cough and its symptoms. The nature of cough is a defense mechanism of our body to expectorate mucus and keep the lungs clear. The problem is how irritating it can become. A cough with too much irritation can cause breathing trouble, pain in the chest and a considerable amount of mucus. A natural and alternative way to treat cough and its symptoms is by using expectorant herbs. Expectorant herbs act by adding moisture to the mucus, making it less sticky and easier to cough up. It is important to choose the right herb based on the situation we are dealing with. Is the cough dry or wet? A wet cough brings mucus up, a dry cough does not. Is the infection viral, like common flu, cough, sore throat, or bacterial, like whooping cough or ear infections? Once we have answered these basic questions, we can choose the right herb specific to our own needs. Top 5 Expectorant Herbs Marshmallow Root Marshmallow root is an effective demulcent used for thousands of years to loosen mucus and inhibit bacteria. Marshmallow root is very beneficial and when mixed with water, forms a gel-like consistency that soothes inflammation and irritation in our bodies. Marshmallow is very effective for dry coughs, irritated throat and airways. It is commonly consumed in form of tinctures, capsules, ointments and loose teas. To make marshmallow roots decoction, use 1 tablespoon of dried roots per cup. Add marshmallow roots into a stove pot. Pour over 2 cups of cold water. Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat. Let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove from the heat, strain and enjoy. Marshmallows Other Uses Soothe inflammations of the digestive and urinary tract. Used as an ointment to help relieve skin irritation caused by eczema and dermatitis. Mullen Mullen act as a demulcent, expectorant and anti-inflammatory. Mullen is commonly consumed as a hot tea to treat common cold and cough, relieve bronchitis and asthma. Both mullen's leaves and flowers contain saponins, natural soapy substances, which help us release and expel mucus from the lungs. Mullen's other uses, soothe digestive and gastrointestinal issues, may act as a sedative to relax the body and mind, may act as a cleanser of the liver. Mullen can be consumed in form of powder, capsules, extract, or oil but, is commonly used as loose tea. To make a mullen tea, Use 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried mullen per cup, both leaves or flowers. Pour over hot water and cover the cup with a lid. Let it steep for 15 minutes, strain and enjoys. Licorice Roots Licorice is well known as an effective demulcent and expectorant to treat cough. The anti-inflammatory and antiviral properties of licorice help loosen mucus in the lungs and clear clogged nose, treat sore throat and congestion. Licorice roots can be consumed in form of capsules, powder, tincture, infusion and decoction. To make a licorice decoction, use 1 tablespoon of dried roots per cup. Add licorice roots into a stove pot. Pour over 2 cups of cold water. Bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat. Let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove from heat, strain and enjoy it. Licorice's other uses, it's an antispasmodic, helping relieve muscle cramps. Improve hair and skin health. Freshener the breath. Good for diabetics, by acting as a natural sweetener. Plantain. Plantain grows like a weed that we should eat, not kill. The leaves and seeds are edible and have been used for medicinal purposes for many years. Plantain's leaves contain mucilage, which has a soothing effect on the lower respiratory tract. It is a gentle expectorant and contains anti-inflammatory, antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, helpful for irritating cough and mild bronchitis. Plantain can be consumed in form of capsules, tinctures and teas. To make a plantain tea, add 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried leaves per cup. Pour over boiling water and cover the cup with a lid. Let it steep for 10 minutes, strain and enjoy it. Plantain's other uses. Used topically to treat insect bites, eczema, small wound and cuts, may help improve digestion. Anise Hyssop Anise hyssop is a herb from the mint family. The leaves and flowers are edible and used for medicinal purposes for centuries. Anise hyssop is considered an effective cold and flu treatment, 
due to its expectorant action that helps expel mucus from the lungs and suppressed cough. Anise hyssop can be consumed as a hot infusion to relieve congestion, induce sweating and help with fever, as a cold infusion to relieve chest pain and inflammation due to excessive coughing. All aerial parts of anise hyssop can be used in form of teas, tinctures, capsules, powder and compresses. To make an anise hyssop tea, add 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried leaves per cup. Pour over boiling water, then cover the cup with a lid. Let it steep for 12 minutes, strain and enjoy it. Anise hyssop's other benefits, it has antispasmodic properties to relieve digestive cramps and bloating. It is considered an antiparasitic herb, effective to cleanse parasites like tapeworms, hookworms and fleas. The seeds can be used in baked goods to add a licorice and as flavor to bread, muffin and pastries. Did you know? Honey, in particular, the raw variety contains anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, reducing the severity of cough while soothing our throat. This is why it's a good choice to add one teaspoon of honey per cup when opting for herbal teas as a treatment for cough and its symptoms. Be mindful. Let your tea cool down a bit before adding honey, if the temperature is too high, the beneficial properties of honey are less potent.